Hey guys, it's Nick from F150LEDs.com. Today we're going to be showing you how to install your very own Sentinel LED tailgate bar on your F150 R Super Duty truck. We've got our 2021 F150 here in the shop today, but the installation is going to be very similar across all year models, F150s and Super Duties. The installation is easy, the outcome is fantastic, and we're going to show you how it's done right now. Sincerely, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. We really appreciate it, and we don't want you to miss out on any of the great content for your Ford truck. All right, let's get back to the video. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is mount our tailgate bar directly under our tailgate. So how we're gonna do that is uh, we've got two options. The kit includes 3M adhesive backing strips that you can use, but what we're gonna be using today is our custom uh, brackets here. So these are gonna mount directly to our tailgate here, underneath our tailgate, and then the bar will mount directly to these brackets. And that's gonna give a stronger, uh, more permanent insulation. Plus these brackets are great when you're working over uh, any existing elements. So if you've got any small brackets underneath the tailgate bar already, these brackets will allow you to in install and go right over those. If you're installing on a Super Duty, you may have a, a center pad here. Uh, and you can remove that using Torx 20 drill bit. So now let's go ahead and mount these. So you're just gonna wanna find, you've got six brackets. I'm gonna use this bottom lip as a guide and try to mount it in a flat spot. So if you went all the way down, see it's got a curve. So I'm just gonna lift up like that. And then we're gonna wanna mark the center hole like so. Now I'll repeat that process for all six and then we'll mount these brackets so that we can mount our bar directly to the truck. Now that our clips are installed, we're gonna run our harness down behind the bumper through the opening here on the driver's side of the tailgate. Now we'll be able to push our bar right into our brackets. Now that our tailgate bar has been mounted to the truck, we need to connect to power. And we're gonna do that here behind our tail light assembly. So using a size eight wrench or socket, we're gonna remove these two bolts here. With those two bolts removed, we'll be able to pull directly away from the truck on this tail light assembly. And that's gonna expose our, our wiring bundles here. And you can do this a couple different ways, but we're gonna go ahead and push down on these tabs and remove them from the assembly, like so, so we can set this housing aside. Next, we're gonna run the harness from our tailgate bar from underneath the truck. There's an opening here in the assembly. I'm not sure we'll be able to show that on camera, but we're gonna reach up under and run the protective tubing through that gap. Now, once we've done that, we'll be able to uh, make our connections here. We're gonna be using our easy T-tap connectors. This makes it extremely easy to attach to the truck's harness. So we're just gonna take our tailgate bar wire here and we're gonna slide it into the opening on the end all the way through, all the way in like that. And we're gonna take our pliers, we'll push down on this end, 
you'll hear a click, that means it's locked in. We'll go ahead and attach our other T-clips to the tailgate bar wires. Once we've got these on, we'll be ready to make our uh, connections behind the tail light assembly to the wire harnesses there. Now this is when you're going to have to uh, look at the PDF guide. Those instructions will tell you uh, which wire colors to connect to, depending on the uh, year and uh, trim level of your truck. We'll add a link to the wire PDF in the video as well as in the video description. The yellow wire, which acts as your driver turn signal, is going to go to the gray orange wire on this particular truck. Again, consult the PDF guide so that you know exactly which color wires to use. But you just put the long end over the wire and push down, you'll hear it click. And that's all there is to connecting. Now we'll connect our other wires. Black is the ground wire. On this truck, we're going to go to the black yellow wire. Make our connection. Brown is going to be our parking and running light. That's going to go to violet green on this truck. And white, which is our reverse wire, is going to be going to green and brown on this truck. Now that we've made our connections, this green wire is for our passenger side turn signal. So we're going to need to push it back underneath the truck so that we can route it to our passenger side tail light assembly. Once we've gotten the extra wire here back underneath the truck, we'll be able to reconnect our tail light assembly and put our two eight millimeter bolts back in. To connect our passenger turn signal, we're going to repeat the same steps that we did on the driver's side using our size 8 socket. Now after running our green wire under the bumper and up into this tail light area and connecting our easy T-tap, we'll be able to make our connection, which on this truck is going to be this green orange wire. Now we can reinstall our tail light assembly and be done. So that's all there is to installing our Sentinel Series LED tailgate bar on your Ford F-150 or Super Duty truck. Not only do they look fantastic, but they're going to make you and your family safer at night as well. So we highly recommend the upgrade. You can check it out today at F150LEDs.com. You'll find all of our custom built LED lighting products built specifically for your Ford F-150 and Super Duty. We truly appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you there. Thanks guys.